this is without doubt my favourite place probably in the world So, um, yeah, this is Penwilt and it's in the Swansea Valley. It's just before you get to um, Craigenos Castle and it is quite a magical place. And I can walk up here with the dogs for an hour, two hours and not see a soul. I mean, other times you might see someone else walking a dog. Yeah, but the silence is deafening. All you can hear are the birds on the wind in the trees. It is just amazing, isn't it, guys? So, yeah, so all you need, really, are two small dogs, a pair of wellies and a camper van. And, um, yeah, I feel really really blessed to have this on my doorstep so if you're from Swansea or the valleys and you've never been to Penhwilt um, come up here for a walk it's just amazing and there's a lovely little pub as well about five minutes away from here well on the drive back to Swansea called the Ancient Britain so if you know the Ancient Britain pub it's not too far from there so yeah and it's somewhere that you can walk completely on your own. Beautiful, beautiful place. Um, yeah, come and have a look. Anyway, I thought I'd sort of do a little video and bring you up here. And hope you enjoy. So, yeah, you can... Um, I'm not going to attempt to say that name. Bog off. Um, and I think, I think everyone should come and have a walk up here. Um, come on, girls. Come on, then. I don't know if it did you like it, Ethel? Yeah, definitely. Um, you maybe. I feel like I've got to give a shout out as well to Tracy Deacon, who lives in Astrogon Lights, who's my friend, dog walker extraordinary. Um, because she initially showed me this place, brought me up here, and I've been coming ever since. In fact, I just rang her today to say I'm on my way up to our land, <laughs> as we jokingly refer to it. Um, but yeah, I love this land. It's just beautiful. And what I thought was, 
Um, again, I'm a bit of a loner as regards walking. I love coming up here or anywhere else really. Um, I'm with the dogs. Because I mean, who's going to attack me with this two chihuahuas? Um, but there are so many hidden gems in, in Swansea and Beef Valley. So I thought when I'm out and about walking, I shall video and show you. Let me see. Look at that view over there. Still. It takes me a breath away. So yeah, so I thought I'd start to video some of the walks, parts of the walks, and just show you what is around this area. Um always included in tourist information and I think it's such a shame really because if you like walking well if you don't like walking I think this would you know this is a place to visit Hours. Little wolves, I think, really. Uh, both rescues. Um, who said little dogs have to be carried in handbags? Um, <laughs> maybe says have actually walked up in the van. So, yeah, wherever I go, they are not far behind me. So that's one of the quarries you can see over there, and there's a car park. So these cottages, um, they were originally workers' cottages who worked at the quarry. Um, but they now belong to the Caving Association. And over there, if I just zoom in, if you can see that quarry there. Um, if you walk through there, there are caves. Some of them have got locked grids on them because we're about 10 minutes from Danarogoff Caves. And apparently the biggest cave system in Europe, even bigger than Danarogoff Caves, is actually here in Penhwilt. Um so yeah, you, so people come and stay in the cottages from the Caving Association and people come from all over Europe, the world even, to go caving here and standing here you wouldn't know that all of that was underneath here. Pretty amazing place isn't it? I can hear the winds drops a little bit now but like you can hear I think they're having a new grip put down on the car park, so that's what the noise is. Um, so when I started walking, it was pretty stormy looking, and it seems to have settled now, gutted. Because um, there was forecast um, thunderstorms this afternoon, and I thought, wow, what place to go if it's going to thunder and lighten. Let's go the dogs to the top, yeah. Um, also, it's worth mentioning, if you, if you like going out at night, um, looking for meteorites or just looking at the night sky with absolutely no light pollution whatsoever, this is the place. So um, I've come here quite a few nights in the van, got the fire pit out sat in the quarry. It is just spectacular. Um, you can't see your hand in front of your face. So if you're scared of the dark, don't do it. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's an amazing experience. So yeah, 
So I'm going to continue walking around Mount Center on the top here. So this this route now actually we've done the circle. But this this route just goes down. I just don't like walking through water. Come on, you two. Come on. Come on, Ethel. <laughs> Come on, Mavis. Wet feet. So, as you can see, these are old railway lines. That is the old train station. It's like going back in time when you look inside. I believe these were um, originally turned into holiday let cottages. It must have been in the 60s or the 70s because I don't know if you can see furniture and the plates and the table and chairs everything has just been left as it was I think that's the living room see the old armchair and that actually looks like a bar old wardrobe oh it's such a shame isn't it See the view out the back. So that was the end of our walk back to the man. Um, but yeah, Penwilt.